Hey guys, it's T Glizzy here, and in today's Destiny 2 video, we're going to be checking out the 7 Serif CQC shotgun. This is a brand new shotgun we just received inside a season of The Worthy. You can unlock this shotgun by reaching rank 45 on your season's pass track, and to unlock random rolls on this weapon, you are going to have to be 81 and above on your season's pass track, so kind of a grind to get this weapon, but I can tell you right now before we dive into the rest of the video that this shotgun is definitely worth the grind. So when we compare its stats to something like the Mindbender's Ambition, this gun actually outclasses the Mindbender's in every single way except in impact. So it is a lightweight frame, so it does have superb handling compared to the aggressive frame of a Mindbender's Ambition. But when we look at all of the stats of this weapon compared to the Mindbender's, it just outranks it. It's got more range, it's got better stability, better handling, better reload speed, better rounds per minute, uh, bigger magazine, more aim assist. It just outclasses is the mind benders in every single way i was actually sleeping on this weapon for quite a long time until i actually went up against drewski and he was using this weapon and then it just opened my eyes up completely to this is better than mind benders it's being slept on but it's definitely better than mind benders you do have to wait a very very long time until you are able to farm out god rolls on this weapon because you aren't able to even get it to drop until rank 81 you can get the regular roll of it from rank 45 but that roll is just completely shite and you really really don't want that roll so once you reach rank 81 you will be able to farm this weapon from gambit playlist so basically once you reach rank 81 you can start getting the god rolls on this weapon and i think once we do get the god roll for this weapon i definitely think hands down that it will completely outperform the mindbender's ambition so hunting the god roll actually isn't too hard to do at all once you do reach that season's pass rank because the perk pool on this weapon isn't a large perk pool at all there's only a total of eight perks that we can get on this weapon for the first and second slot so we only can get four perks on the first slot and then four perks for the second slot so there aren't too many perks to actually choose from but when you are hunting for that god roll you're definitely going to want rifle barrel for this weapon to give it that extended range you're going to be pushing the range on this weapon and the range on this weapon is already better than the mind benders ambition so you just pushing that range even further it's just going to make this weapon's you know potential just that much more better next pairing this up with something like assault mag or acarized rounds assault mag is really good for when you're wanting to get multi kills you'll be able to get pretty easy multi kills using assault mag so definitely that's something that i'll be hunting for if i get assault mag and i don't get acarized rounds then i definitely won't be dismantling this weapon but if you get acarized rounds that's just going to give you even more range making you able to just snipe people basically with this shotgun which is really really nice next pairing this up with quick draw and snapshot sights it's just going to make this weapon really snappy and feel really smooth inside of your hands so definitely check out those two perks or you can either use slide shot and snapshot which is really really nice too slide shot is going to max out your range so you're just going to be sniping with this weapon so definitely i would actually go with slide shot and snapshot over quick draw and snapshot so if you get slide shot definitely keep this weapon in your inventory next pairing this up with a range of masterwork it's just going to extend that range even more making you able to snipe people with this shotgun and it's really going to make people question are you using a sniper or are you using a shotgun so definitely you want to max out the range on this weapon and i'm going to be hunting for the god roll i'm going to be getting my season's pass rank to 81 hopefully today and then i can get the god roll and then be bringing you guys a video on just this weapon sniping people across the map because i can see the potential in this shotgun right now and this is definitely going to be one of the next nastiest shotguns going into the next week of trials so when it comes to farming out this shotgun we're going to want as much range as we possibly can get on this weapon so we can get that more further back one shot range and then when people are around seven and six meters we'll definitely be guaranteed to get those one shots so definitely we are going to want to go hunt after the most range as we possibly can get on this gun and then also on top of that it's just going to make this weapon feel just so much more consistent than what it is now and it's very consistent at the moment but yeah guys Guys, that's gonna do it for me i just wanted to bring this shotgun to the spotlight if you guys are gonna go out there and check out this shotgun then please be sure to let me know by slamming that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more destiny 2 and i've been your boy t glizzy you guys been my awesome viewers and i'll see you guys in another peace